Hi everybody, this is Kevin with Garrison Dental Solutions and I wanted to run through quickly some of the key differences between using a circumferential Toffelmeyer type matrix system and the sectional matrix systems that are far more prevalent in the marketplace today. On the right here, of course, I have kind of more of our traditional systems with the Toffelmeyer retainer and band here being certainly the most traditional. Pretty much everybody on the planet has been trained in dental school to use a Toffelmeyer retainer and there are still times when you need to use a Toffelmeyer. However, there are some things about this that can make it less than ideal for a typical class two. You've got this big heavy retainer hanging out of the patient's mouth that can actually be bumped and dislodge the matrix band. Also, they do have a tendency to cut the gum tissue as you're placing them and tightening them down. They can be a little uncomfortable for patients. But really, when it comes down to doing the restoration itself, the biggest problem is the wedges. With a Toffelmeyer retainer, in order to compensate for the thickness of the band and the polymerization shrinkage of the composite, we've got to get separation of the teeth. And the only method to do that is to drive a wedge interproximally. The more separation you need, the harder you've got a wedge. And look what starts to happen. We start pushing that contact point higher and higher, creating a larger and larger food trap. Here we've got just no real anatomical shape to it. You see that on x-rays time and time again, where you see a restoration that is flat, has a point contact, and a large food trap. In addition, addition, we need to burnish the band, right? We need to get it in contact with those adjacent teeth. And in order to burnish a circumferential band, you have to loosen it up a little bit. As you loosen it, you start to open up these buccal and lingual margins around the restoration, creating an opportunity for flash. A little bit more cleanup work involved. Now let's look at a retainerless system. The benefit, of course, being you don't have that large retainer hanging out of the patient's mouth, but you still have all the other issues. In order to get our separation, we need to wedge very aggressively and we start creating food traps and point contacts. In order to burnish the bands against the adjacent teeth, I have to loosen this band up. And when I do that, I open up the buccal and lingual margins for flash. Why is everybody going to the sectional systems? The biggest part is the separation created by the rings. These are very strong spring clips. They are designed to push in approximately and separate the teeth to compensate for the thickness of the band and the polymerization shrinkage. What that means by having a ring separating the teeth, I don't need to create a lot of separation with the wedge. I can use a smaller wedge. All I want to do is I want to seal the gingival floor of the box. I want to hold that band up against the tooth to prevent any leakage. I don't have to cram a great big wedge in there and therefore my contact point can be in a more natural position and I have a lot less tendency to create a food trap. So less likelihood of recurrent caries. With the bands, not being attached all the way around the tooth, I can easily manipulate this band into exactly the position that I want it. It doesn't want to spring back. I don't have to loosen anything. And look at this. I have wonderful seal on my buccal and lingual margin still to prevent flash. So this is the Compositite 3D Fusion system. It's the number one system around and you can see what a fantastic job it does for a restoration like this to give you all of the features without any of the drawbacks of of the old style systems. Garrison 3D Fusion, great system, and sectionals by far a preferred methodology for performing class twos.